Step onto the grounds at the Chickasaw Cultural Center in Sulphur and you step back in time from the traditional Chickasaw Village to the sculptures and landscaping that line the property. You truly feel as if you are part of the Chickasaw culture. For this assignment, I got to learn a little bit of my own history as the great, great, great granddaughter of Cyrus Harris, the first governor of the Chickasaw Nation, I learned that even the food at the IEPA Cafe tells a story. When people come here, they're not just coming here for an hour or so and leaving. They are coming for an experience, and that experience is going to take you hours or even a whole day because we have so much tribal history and culture to teach everyone and to enrich everybody that comes here. So, and the cafe is such a huge part of that. Chikasha Poye means we are Chickasaw. Here at the Cultural Center in Sulphur, the Iampa Cafe means a place to eat. You can find traditional Chickasaw dishes, as well as modern food. But as our elders like to say, Impachi, which means come and eat. From the traditional fry bread that's made daily to go along with the Indian tacos, to the traditional grape dumplings and other dishes that go back generations in the Chickasaw culture. The Iampa Cafe is open year round seven days a week to the public. You can grab a quick bite for lunch or sit down and get a true taste of how our ancestors dined decades ago. Upshoka is one of the most traditional things we serve. It's cracked pearl hominy, slow cooked with pork. It was a uh, dish that was used in healing ceremonies, the Chickasaw healing ceremonies, and served at almost every Chickasaw gathering. It's uh, served with our uh, Chickasaw special, along with grape dumplings and Indian tacos, the most, our most popular meal here at the Ampa Cafe. Bill Littrell says he stops by for lunch any chance he can. He says the food's great. He says it's reasonably priced, not to mention the peaceful view in the background. Usually I get the Indian taco, or sometimes the bison burger, but uh, I haven't had anything here yet that's not pretty good. <laughs> this is my third time to come back to Sulphur after spending time as a child here with my grandparents. And Evitz drove all the way from Clarksville, Texas. We love to bring people here when we come, new people. We've brought new people every time. And we just, it's all good. These little zucchini fritters are really good. And I mean, you get a lot for your money and you can pick up all the sauces you want and they don't slap your hand. And, and they're just very generous. It's just all so nice and beautiful here. From the Indian tacos to a fresh made salad, even a bison burger, the Iampa Cafe at the Chickasaw Cultural Center in Sulphur has something for everyone with even the food itself that tells its own stories and histories. Patrons will get a taste of what makes the Chickasaws such proud and strong people. People that haven't maybe grown up in a Chickasaw home, they come here and they learn about their heritage and they can, they can pass that on to their children and their children can come here and, and remember what, you know, that, what they've learned from their grandmothers what we've learned from our grandmothers. And the cafe has just been an inevitable place here. You're sure to be destined to come here because this is a part of who we are. And we love it every day. We are Chickasaw every day. We've been Chickasaw every day of our lives and you have too, so it's, it, that's what it's for here. I am Chickasaw and I am proud of my heritage. I invite you to check out the Chickasaw Cultural Center and the Iampa Cafe.